Welcome back to another tutorial inside SolidWorks simulation. Today we are going to simulate this shear. Okay, we are going to apply a certain load on it, and then we will see the behavior of this shear, how it behaves after applying that reliable load. Okay, so consider you are going to sit on this shear. Okay, so then what will happen? Stick around. I will show you how. Click on new study. Choose shear. Name it and simply click on static one. Say OK. Right. Next, we are going to apply material. For example, this is AISI uh, 304 material. Fix this geometry. Okay. For example, for now, I'm going to fix it from the bottom. Okay. If you have the roller chairs, okay, that has rollers, then you have to go for this roller. Let me choose the fixed geometry options and let me fix this here from this bottom, this face, this face, this face, and this face. Okay. You have to choose the faces of this here okay. that is in touch with the ground. Next, you're going to apply certain load on it. Okay. So, most probably, you have to apply load on this surface because you are going to sit on here. Okay. So not going to sit like this, okay. So here the floor is going to apply, okay. So although it is perpendicular to this face, okay, the surface. If it is not, then you have to choose this like direction, and you have to choose, for example, this direction. Still at root bar, okay. So make sure you have to keep it normal, okay. Choose the unit. And that you want to apply SI unit and suppose your weight is this much newton. Okay, you want you can just reverse the direction, which is not the purpose. And I will say okay. Right. Next, I will go to run this study to see the behavior of the chair, how it is going to be deformed with you. It's solving a problem. Just wait for a second, and now you can see here. Okay, this is the one my stress. See, slow on your speed. Let me go to edit the definition, and this time let me go for the normal stress distribution, and I will say okay. Right now you will see. How this is going to be had, right? Each and everything you can just select the displacement, okay? So maximum is displacement is going to be at the center of this face, okay? So we can animate the displacement, right? And same for this frame. If you go and animate, this is like. And go for the edit definition. And this is normal stress. And this is the stress intensity. If you go for this and animate. See? So, simply each and everything you are able to do. Okay? This is not something difficult for people okay so let me do one thing to change the texture advisor and this time i'm going to choose the roller okay and then we see the behavior how this shear is going to be have right run the study It'll take a while and then we see okay so as you can see here, your chair is displayed a little bit because this is roller. Okay. So consider for this for for, for now that this chair has rollers right now. Okay. Bearings right now. Tires right now. Okay. So most probably it will displayed a little bit from own place. And if you go for the animate, you will see here. Okay. Applying the load. This year is not going to depress 
downward but rather than to depress downward position it is going to display it a little bit because it is always like now so because of the applied now that we had applied on this or suppose we have sat on it okay so then what will happen it's going to display it, okay some of this stress will go to apply on it but most probably the load that you are going to apply on it is going to display this here because it has all of right now same for the displacement right and any meat see so this region shows that the maximum displacement is on this side right now okay so i hope uh, you got something important from this video okay so i hope you now this is not difficult for you to use the static situations applying the material and choose a fixed geometry or rollers okay and then you have to go for applying a certain load okay and then you have to do nothing just run this study so this the rest the rest tutorial i just leave leave on you okay please try out what it is so you will not able to do each and everything whenever you are not go for that to do that by yourself okay so please try out that it's really very simple so in coming tutorials i will try to do something new with new people and may i try out the shear force and bending moments backgrounds letters if i have time i'm not sure so for now this is enough okay stick around and keep connected thank you